Hey guys, Michael Gregg here at the Modern Salon Artist Session and we're so excited to be doing some hair on our models today. We've got a couple things that we're doing. So this is the Heaven Salon team. This is Tiffany Lang. She's our master stylist at, at Heaven Salon and she is creating a three strand braid um, and creating some fabric. Tiffany, do you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on with that? Um, actually, I'm really just trying to create some like a textured fabric look. Um, this is going to actually be a hat once we're all done with it. So a really like textured looking, uh, classic looking hat. So how do you do it? Just tell us how you do um, it. Well, first of all, we use a little bit of almost like a metal thread um, in the center piece of the braid. So we cut that in the middle strand and we did a looser braid for them. Oh, here. Yeah, right there. And then we tied them off with a clear band. And then we just started stretching the the hair to make it look more like just a really, really textury fabric. But because we have the metal pieces, I mean, we can kind of create whatever shape so we cool. want. That's so cool. And then you guys, your models in makeup, right? Makeup and getting nails. She's getting nails now, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, very cool. Absolutely. All righty. So now this is this is Megan, who is working with her today um, from Heaven Salon. This is Sierra from Heaven Salon as well, and she's we're doing a little old school. So this is a technique taught to me by Suzanne Chadwick, who is near and dear to my heart. Um, she was one of the very first educators and, and very first elite um, hairdresser that I worked with when I joined Paul Mitchell 21 years ago. So she taught me this uh, a technique called diamonds. So what we're gonna do is we take the hair and we make ponytail sections using clear elastics. And we're working on, um, on these beautiful tracks of hair in lavender, pink, and baby blonde, um, which is really on trend right now with the pastels. And we section those off into two, and then we make another elastic band all the way across. Then we section those into two, make another elastic band so that you're creating this diamond type fabric. You can lay this down over a really sheer um, surface of hair. You can create texture underneath. What we're actually gonna do is create some big expanded rolls and we're gonna lay this over top, like again, like fabric. So um, we're really inspired, obviously, by fabric today. So it's really interesting. I'm a huge Project Runway fan, so I think, I feel like we're doing one of the like unconventional challenges here. So my question is, how come you guys like, didn't do this last night? You know, honestly, truthfully, I think once we got into the space here, and it's, it's really typical of artist session for me and for shoots, um, I'll get my inspiration board together, but I leave it really open until I cast my model. Uh, because I feel like the model is kind of your muse for everything. And you might have this amazing idea, but once you cast your model, it may evolve, which is what ours has done today. Um, so again, I I'm really excited. Um, plus again, I didn't kind of, I feel like I'm in the salon here. I have all the tools that I need. I have everything I need. We have these amazing goodie bags that Modern Salon has provided okay, so us with. tell us, I know that you kind of, what, what, was, what are a couple of your favorite Couple of my faves. So the, um, the Orbe airbrush root touch up, which is one of my favorite things. Which you um, needed today. Which I needed today because I had a model that had a little bit of a lived in kind of feeling with her color. So we needed something that was just going to create a little more evenness um, through what we were doing. So this has been a great tool for us today and a lifesaver um, when you're not really doing color on the set. Um, or just for your guests that might want a little touch up in between their color services. So this was a really great thing today. Um, I know obviously my great friend Lucy Dowdy um, and, and her partner who do Straight Pin Studio LA, they have these amazing kits um, that we're working with today. So I'm gonna be using some of the padding, some of the buns. Um, we've got our Straight Pin kit here with all the pins and everything we needed in it, all of our, uh, all of our yeah, elastics and, and hair nets. And so it's really great for those people that, you know, are busy session stylists or just busy stylists in general and really it's one less step that they have to do to get their kit ready so you can just buy it pre-done it's done so follow them on instagram straight pin la um, and then our sam via uh, crimping iron our texture iron um, is a really cool tool and i am so happy i got this in a goodie bag a couple sessions ago and fell in love with it and we use it regularly in the salon to create texture to take skinny hair make it really fat um, so that we can mold it into shapes and really truly it's great to use for those brides that have very baby fine hair and instead of using padding you can actually use their real hair use the sam via texturizer 
um, and, and it'll fatten up the hair underneath and just lay a smooth layer over top of it. And it's really a, a perfect tool and a lifesaver and time saver in the salon as well. What, so, uh, what was the most, the best thing you learned yesterday? You know, listening to Mary Bernetti was amazing because to, to, to listen to the pioneers in our industry, and I think it's something that some of the newer stylists might not always get the opportunity to do with all of these Instagram superstars popping up. Um, you know, someone once told me, know your history. So I think the history of hairdressing is incredibly important and listening to Mary's story and how she became successful. And I think a lot of the the foundation principles that she talked about are still um, in play today and I think it's still the same way that you create opportunities for yourself to grow in this business whatever avenue you decide to do whether it's a session stylist whether it's an editorial stylist um, whether it's someone who just wants to be busy behind the chair salon owner I mean Mary's done it all so um, it was really great to see how successful she's been in the avenues that she uh, that she chose to, to get where she needed to be. So it was a really inspirational story. Plus, wow. she's just one of those people that's just so happy and still loves what she does 40 years later. So it's it's amazing to, to be inspired by that. I want to ask your team, like, what is the one thing you guys learned yesterday that other hairdressers can learn from? You know, less is more, I think, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you know, know? definitely. I love Mary Bernetti. She was amazing. That's great. And, and I loved learning about all of the different ways to promote yourself via Instagram. Um, oh, thank you. That was the Maggie Mulher and I. Yeah, the <laughs> amount, you know, the amount of, from the amount of hashtags that you use, from you know how you get people to follow you to uh, the pictures that you post and how to make the hair look more alive when you're taking the picture. I thought it was so interesting and great. Right, great. And you, what was your, what was your favorite thing that you learned? Um, pretty much like the same thing, just like learning new ways to do things in social media and getting yourself out there, getting famous out there, like knowing how to post things and where to post them, when to post them so that everyone can see everything that you're doing and just making sure everyone see your work and so that's a good thing that I really learned yesterday because it's Right. Well, you guys, I can't wait to see what, what all so this is going to turn out to be. We're so excited. And yeah. we want to thank Modern Salon, Maggie Mulhern, for this amazing opportunity. Bye. So, thank you. You're just so great. All right, bye. Thanks.